So I just fired my web developer. That's right. Kicked him to the curb because I don't need a developer anymore to have an amazing, beautiful website for my podcast. I'm using a tool called PodPage and PodPage is going to use my RSS feed. It's going to automatically build me a website based off all the information I put in my podcast host. And then I can go in and make some small tweaks to make it my very own. So if you've been wondering how you can get a website for your podcast, this video is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna build a website in under five minutes that can show you my podcast, show you my reviews, let listeners leave me voicemails, collect emails, let people support me through my buy me a coffee or Patreon, literally in minutes. So if you've been on the fence about starting a website for your podcast, this video should change your mind completely because you can do it without a web developer, without knowing a single lick of code. All you have to do is put your RSS feed in and let PodPage do the rest. I'm gonna walk you through the entire site and if you're interested in getting it or trying it out for free, just click the link below and I'll see you guys inside of PodPage. All right, friends, so here we are at PodPage.com and as promised, I'm gonna show you how to build a beautiful podcast website in under five minutes. And I would be willing to say that you could do this probably just in a few minutes based on what I've seen on this platform. So it's it, it's very simple. Uh, the first thing that you would do is just go in and get started and enter your podcast name. And there I am. So all I have to do is that. And I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And once you have put in your RSS feed, it is going to auto magically build you a website. And I literally put my RSS feed in or just search for my podcast and it creates a beautiful website. So in theory, we did this in less than 30 seconds, but it gets better because we have the ability to change just about anything we want on this website or pick a different template. So let's just start from the beginning. I'm just gonna go to settings. And of course I can add a custom domain. I don't have a custom domain for my podcast yet, but now that I have this feature available to me, I think I absolutely will. Going into podcast info, this is all gonna be pulled in by your RSS feed. So once you have either searched for your podcast or added your RSS feed, I use Sounder, so all I had to do was go to Sounder FM, sign in, and go to my RSS feed uh, and put that in. So very simple. Um, but once you do that, it's gonna start to pull in all this stuff. So it pulls in your artwork, it pulls in your name, it pulls in your description, and then you're, you're gonna have the option to create your own uh, website address. So I just put in podcast therapy here because it's uh, short and sweet, and at some point I will upgrade to that custom domain. Now I can also put in information about my hosts. So let's say we have a co-host. We can put our information in here to let people know who we are. Because my podcast is a solo podcast, I don't need to do this, but this would be great for duos or quads of podcasters. I can also add information about my guests and then I can select which kind of notifications I want. So I've got my default email address here. I'm not going to want an, an, uh, an email every time I post an episode just because I know when they're posting, but I do want this feature to receive an email every time that PodPage finds a new review for my podcast. And we'll talk about reviews in a second. Okay, so back to settings. Now that we've sort of covered the basics, um, you can add your social media profiles. So I've just quickly added Instagram and YouTube. You just click new link and then pick which one it is and add the URL. Super, super simple. Uh, player links. So you can decide where you want to have, which links you want to have available on the page for people to quickly listen. 
I just have a couple here. I don't want to overwhelm people um, with these links. So just get, you know, the top couple and you can add as many as you want. So if you're on Amazon or Deezer or iHeartRadio or wherever you're at, uh, you can go ahead and add that. Now, you can also add revenue links. I really love this. This makes it easy for people to support you. So I have my buy me a coffee link, but they've got everything. PayPal, uh, Anchor, Coffee, Buy Me a Coffee, Supercast. So all you have to do is put in your URL and that's going to appear within the website itself. All right, I'm going back to settings. Um, We can edit the categories that our podcast come into. We've already talked about notifications. So let's go into the page designer. Now, something I learned about this is that they're gonna give you a general template. So if I just open that up, like I said, it's built me a website. But let's say this isn't the website I really want. I can change the site template. Now, I want you to know before you do any work, it's it's very important that you sort of settle on a template because once you change the template, it will override some of your settings. So they give you a bunch of different layouts, formats, and it's really subjective. Which one do you like? So I could go into... Sapphire and choose this template and it's going to automatically do that magical pulling things in from all my places to put together a website pretty quickly for me. But I actually prefer the original template that they gave me, which I believe was Quartz. So I like this one. It's super clean and I'm just going to go ahead and augment this to make my site for me. So general design. We can change things like colors. So the primary color is going to be uh, for your button. So if we wanted that to be a ruby red, I could just pick that and it's gonna change these buttons for me. I'll just go ahead and click that back. And then of course the background color, we can view in real time the decisions we're making, which I really, really love. So blue isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna go with your, your flat white and keep it standard we can change into dark mode in a click so absolutely like amazing all we would have to do then is change the text color all right so we can upload our own fonts or we can change the fonts on the website so they're going to give us some options i really like this all being on one line so i'm going to pick this oswald and then for my body text uh, i'm going to pick something that's a little bit more poppin like Poppins, so it's a little bit bigger and easier to read. We can change the button shape. So if we want our little button up here to be a circle or a square or whatever, we can choose that. I'm just gonna leave it as is, and then we can put any information like copyright information or footer text. Again, this is legitimately a real website. And then of course we can add custom CSS if we have that skill set. I don't, and that's why I'm on PodPage because I don't wanna deal with code. All right, so uh, navigation bar is next. We can change this to a logo. Uh, We could have it be our podcast artwork and our name, which is super cool. Or we can upload a logo and change the site, the head, the height, and the uh, settings on that. We can change the background image from uh, to the nav bar to a primary color. So I've selected that orange, so it's going to make it orange, which I don't think looks all that bad. So I'm just going to leave that. And, um, you know, we can customize link names and hide page links and uh, do all the other things we want here. If we want to add additional links, I'm just going to click save and we're going to move right along to the sidebar. All right. The sidebar is this section here, so we can just turn it off if we don't want it. Oh, do not display this, this bar. And it should update a second. It's gone. But I like this. I think this is a great way to uh, engage your audience. So we can collect email addresses and configure that so they can sign up, which is very important just in case everything in the world goes away. We want to have those email addresses. We can, again, uh, pick our, our badge size. So I've picked these four and I can make them large. Let's just get this rock in here. Boom. So now they're a little bit larger, which I actually sort of like. So I'm going to leave that. Uh, We can put our shows into categories. We can uh, update our social widgets and, of course, do custom HTML. This is great for things like Facebook Pixels or Google Analytics, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just in the works of building this quickly. Great. 
All right, so we've talked about the website settings. Now we can go into pages. So I'm not gonna go through every single page here because I think you get it. The first thing I really love is that you're gonna get an episode page for each podcast. It's great because you can send people to a specific page to reference a specific podcast. They get the show notes and then they also can see the other recent episodes. So I just love that you're gonna get those episode pages, really cool feature. Um, I'm gonna go back to the page list here and um, you can make an about page, a contact page. I think those are pretty self-explanatory, a blog page and even a revenue page. So if you wanna create a page where people can get more information on your Patreon, it's a great way to add that in. Now here's one that I really, this, this reviews page is, this is a mind blower right here. So. Because we put in our RSS feed, PodPage is gonna automatically pull in our reviews. So um, we can, you know, we can change the uh, label on this if we want. We can um, change the header. So if we wanna add an image here, we can do that or change the title, very simple. And of course, making sure that our Apple Podcast ID is correct. But again, PodPage did all the work there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. And I'm just gonna show you something that I think this is amazing for. So first of all, um, let's go back to the reviews page and then uh, open that preview. Okay, so here it is. You know, I might wanna add a, a, a bar here, but they've got a button to rate the show, all right? So you can automatically have people start to rate the show. But something else that I love about this is, first of all, they have a, a little feature here where you can automatically share this to Twitter. So I can share that and press tweet and boom. Uh, so I've got a review out there that's social proof. The other thing I could do is make a social post out of this really quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a screenshot here and I'm going to uh, just crop it crop it like it's hot, all right, and get it to about there. Just gonna go ahead and press done, and then I'm gonna go into Canva, my favorite site. I've just got an Instagram template open here, and I am just going to pull this screenshot in, and I can simply, uh, press effects and background remover, and it's gonna make this into a box. All right, well, maybe my connection's slow. We'll try that again here. All right, and then I could pull in a background image, so if I wanted a different color. Uh, Canva's struggling to remove that background, so let's try that one more time. Okay, well, either way, I could simply create a social media post very quickly from here uh, to share on Instagram, to share on Facebook. So I really love this. And, and again, I really love that um, one, there's a lot of five-star reviews that makes me feel good and that people can access those very quickly. Okay. Now the last feature I wanna share with you is, is what I think is another amazing feature. So if we just go back to the preview and I just go to my homepage, it's gonna load, everything's looking good. I think I might actually remove a couple of these latest posts because there's this big blank space here. So let me just do that real quick. Homepage, that's what I want. So recent episodes, I'm gonna change this to the number three. Save, and then that's gonna augment that, it's great. So um, it looks a little cleaner to me. So once you're here, it's not so many of my face, and then they can view more episodes here, and that that generally lines up here. But you see this little blue microphone, okay? <laughs> so when I press that, it's gonna offer me the chance to send a voicemail to my podcast. So I can actually tell my audience, hey, if you wanna be on the show and ask a question, just go to my website, press the little blue microphone in the corner, and record your message to me, and I will put it on the show. So here I am recording straight from my microphone into this, and then once I stop, it's gonna allow me to put my name and email in or just send it, okay? So it can be totally anonymous. And when I go back to the voicemail section, boom. So today, uh, here we go. This is the nine second voicemail. So I can download that to my computer and pull it into my podcast or I can favorite them or I can make a note like this is great. 
Uh, so I can use that on the show later. And uh, this is a really cool tool that will save a lot of time. So uh, pod page. I mean, I just made this website in a, you know, I'm showing you things, but this website was built in a matter of moments. It's got everything I want in it. Uh, I can change just about everything about it. And it's a really pro option uh, for all podcasters to have a great website automatically. So this is the Poddex choice for your podcast. I hope this video was helpful. And of course, when you build your website, send me a link. I'd love to see it. I'd love to be inspired by your website. And I'm super excited that I now have a website in the matter of minutes from Podpage. So there you have it. This is one of the coolest innovations I've seen for podcasters in quite some time. Web developers are probably running as fast as they can to get as many clients as they can before you figure out that you can make a website like this in under five minutes and you don't have to pay thousands of dollars, you don't have to know any code and you don't have to deal with the back and forth of trying to get what you want. All you need to do is just upload your RSS feed, move some things around to your liking and keep podcasting. I love it so much. So if you're considering building your website in the next five minutes, go ahead and click that link in the description. And I can't wait to see it. Leave your new website in the comments. I wanna check out what you do with podpage.com.